Patience. Patience. Patience is a virtue and what you don't know won't hurt you. Who says that? That's a good lyric, you'll find out. Look, the thing is with patience is I don't really have much of the old patience. And so let me tell you about my experiences with patience and impatience. Patience means uh, that you are okay with the world being as it is and you don't seek continually to control it. Impatience means you've secretly got a view about how quickly things should go. Like if you're in traffic, you're like, oh, this traffic shouldn't take this long, but you don't know how long traffic should take. How could you possibly know? I find myself continually staring at sat navs going, this shouldn't take this long. When it was a tube train, oh, this tube shouldn't take this long. The more spiritual you get, and let me tell you, I'm clearly not spiritual enough. If patience is any measure, you go, this is just taking as long as it takes. You have no opinion on it. You just lay down on the ground quite happily, like in that Radiohead video. You know, that's where you've got to get to. You've got to get to basically a point of not caring, of like, well, this is going to take this long. That's no problem. Did you see that film about Abraham Lincoln? He was patient, Daniel Day-Lewis. That's what I've noticed. Like, oh, this dude operates on another level. Someone told me once about Rupert Murdoch that his great power was he acts as if he's going to live forever and that there is no rush and I thought wow that's interesting it's a form of patience it's a form of not being controlled I read uh, the, the great uh, Yogananda said you know when we see an, a little ant climbing up a mound of sand to that little ant it must be like I don't know Kilimanjaro but to us it's no big deal he says in the mind of God our understanding of time our understanding of time is based on how long a human life is basically isn't it that's the basic measure oh we live about this long so that's a long time or our own experience of a day you know or like because it's very different a minute when you're doing a, you know if you lay on your back and lift your feet six inches in the air straight out for a minute that minute i can't believe how long that minute takes or if when you're new to meditation five minutes takes ages we don't know nothing about time we don't know anything about it we only know about entropy the good thing if you're trying to learn how to be patient is when you start to think, oh, I'm going to get so furious and smash something if this doesn't happen more quickly, to surrender and let go. For example, a doorbell's just gone off. I'm furious about it, absolutely furious, but it'll be someone that I've invited to come around my house. So what do I do? Oh, that shouldn't be happening when I'm making a little internet video. I'm so important with me internet videos. I've put a blanket on me here to celebrate. What does it matter? Doorbell noise, blanket on it, no blanket on it. Who cares about anything? Who knows anything? Certainly not me. One thing I will tell you is the spiritual life should be taking place for you, not something you impose on others. That's why I don't mind if you ignore these videos, because <laughs> uh, I would be, but I probably mind a bit. No, I don't mind. I just want you to be happy, and I just want me to be happy. Patience is good because the illusion of control will destroy us. Hello, I'm doing these new videos more frequently now. Please hit the notification button at the end of this video because then you'll get a, like a little bell when uh, I post a new video and I'd like you to get a little bell when I post a video. Then I can, I don't know, be buzzing away in your pocket. Sounds like I'd be like a little pocket mosquito. Anyway, subscribe, click the bell because I want more people to watch the YouTube videos. You specifically.